Hello people of YouTube, sorry for the staticky sound, I didn't bother editing my microphone settings and somebody just I am me. Um, I'm here to talk about what you're viewing right now, which is the uh, my prediction of what the name and cover might look like for the next Batman game in the series, which I in theory will think will be called City of Terror, because if you're noticing at the some of these videos on YouTube that tells you how to do this, but I'll even explain to you if you don't know what I'm talking about. If you go to this boat right next to cranes and outside it's the steel mill, and it's there's like a boat off in like in the middle of all of it. And um, if you go on there, there's like a little increase on the floor showing that it should be like a, a door you can open up. Except if you use your graphic sequencer on this, you can do that, and the answer happens to be City of Terror. Um, if you go do this, and then you drop down, and it happens to be like a little scarecrow hideout. And there's also that riddle with this, where you can find scarecrow's mask on top of the. If I'm right, it's like right next to it, basically. Um, there's like a little uh, metal bridge uh, incline or something. I forget what it is, but this scarecrow mask is right on top of that, next to a bunch of hay, indicating the scarecrow was there, probably. But it also, inside the, uh, thing, there's a guy strapped to a bunch of fear gas, I'm guessing is what it is. And then there's a uh, little thing on the wall next to you. If you look clearly, it says, Jonathan Crane has purchased a piece of land or something, and that will be the Fear City, supposedly, in my theory. Um, and also, if you look at that uh, AM frequency, the radio frequency thing, you can find some stations that have numbers being rambled off and one of them nobody could figure out for the longest time and recently I was looking online and I found out somebody actually found the answer to it I'm gonna bring it up here um, not my comments it's a guy I'm gonna bring it up here and tell you what the answer was personally if you if you might want to skip over a few minutes if you don't want to hear the answer uh, the answer is Fear will tear Gotham City to shreds, basically, is what the um, the answer is to that one that nobody could figure out that was like C Z C T Z R Z P X A yada yada yada. I'm not going to say the whole thing, it's too long. But, anyway, this is my prediction of what the cover might look like and might possibly actually look like and the name of course and I'm greatest theory right now that's definitely probably going to be the name I mean why put it in I mean it's the biggest hint so Fear City might actually work just like in the last game it was in Arkham Asylum it was like you went into the, the law you actually saw the words Arkham City on the blueprints if you look close enough so I figure if City of Terror would give us that big hint that Jonathan Crane was behind some stuff sneaky stuff. It figured it'd be about Scarecrow, basically, and City of Terror. That's why Scarecrow's in the background underneath all that smoke, basically, which is actually fear gas spreading through the city, and of course there's going to be some by Batman, because he's going to be in fear throughout the city. And then we got the uh, team, Ray T for Teen, 3D, DC, Rocksteady, WB Games, and all that. This, these are all photos. I don't take credit for any of these photos, except for that one of Scarecrow and the one of Batman. Those, those are the only two that I actually took myself. And the City of Terror right now, I wrote that myself as well. Everything else I got off the internet. The smoke is actually, or the gas, is actually um, just pieces of like, I got on the internet of explosions, basically, and morphed them around to look like gas or smoke sweating through the city, basically. And I thought that was a pretty cool effect I did. And then the Batman logo is not that hard to find online. And then the logos at the bottom, of course, aren't mine either. They're actual logos. And I just copied and pasted them onto the thing and made them correct sizes. And this is my prediction. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want. You don't have to comment. You don't have to like. You just come to watch if you want. But um, this is basically just a prediction. So don't hate. Don't start a fight over it <laughs> and I know after this video because I'm the first as far as I know to actually predict what it might look like 
I don't know if there's any other videos posted in the comments and I'll look at them and see if I even copied I promise you I did not steal this all my life I did not steal this. This is all my work. I sat here for a good four hours trying to make this up and finally came to came to be what it is now. So and thank you for watching. If you actually made it this far, thank you again. And check you guys later. Thank you for your time. Hope I didn't waste it too much.